you so much. Right guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, as you can see, I'm back at 80 Motorsport with the RS3. Now, there's been a lot of people asking where this car has been, what's going on with it, and after the last couple of videos, about two months ago now, questions need to be answered. So, I'm gonna start this first bit of this video by going through exactly what's happened to this car, and then we're gonna get on with a couple of bits of testing. I want to personally finish off the last little bits on this car with the guys at AET to make sure we are ready to go for a couple of dyno pulls on this car. Now, if you guys didn't know, this is now running the VT500 RS80 Turbos Hybrid Turbocharger for the 2.5 litre engine. First of its kind. So this was actually a development car that I gave over to AT Motorsport and the guys at AT Turbos to create this package. With that, I want to give a massive thank you to the guys at AT Turbos and AT Motorsport. Please go and follow their social media links as they've really come through for me on this build. Right, what I'm going to do is bring Patrick into the shot. Right, this is the man, the guy, the legend that has actually created this thing. When I say build, you're the one that's built it. Because at the end of the day, this is the first time I've ever done something like this. You are professional, you know what you're talking about. So we're gonna run through exactly what's happened since me dropping it off. When it came to you, it was stage two, pretty much everything. Yeah, so pretty quick, wasn't stage it? Stage two, it was fast. 440, it, it was about, numbers, didn't it? Yeah, 440 when it rolled in. We started off with our new hybrid development turbo, VT500 RS, as the name suggests, close to 500 horsepower. The close main to. thing we've got to stress is that if it makes 490 brake horsepower. That isn't, the goal isn't to willy wave about a, a dyno no, number. That's not why we're stuff. here. And I think as a tuner and a, and a mapper and a builder, the surge. The numbers the, do sell turbos. Yeah. And they sell the tuning, but it's not the be all and end all. Yeah. You know, there's driving. We've got to stress that though. If it comes out and it's it's 500, but it's making this, that's not the idea anyway. It was no. to make a performance car yeah. and your butt dyno is going to tell you exactly the, what the, it's running. Obviously this turbo's are not on. Yeah. We do already know the, the, the main restriction with these turbos is the yeah. manifold. It achieves whatever it achieves, you know. I'm yeah. sure we'll be happy. There'll be plenty of flames, hopefully. Oh, yeah, that's what we want. We want Let's flames. Honest, we want that's flames. All we want is yeah, we flames. want flames. All flames. Porting mods to go with the. So you already had the Revo. Two induction kit stage three. Yeah, so that big thing, big thing actually came with the car when I bought it. So that was so. I think start. that you know that'll suffice for what we needed to do. We sent your ejectors away. Um, mm -hmm. We got them floor tested and performance baskets put in there. They're all good. They passed the checks. <laughs> and then to go with that, we've got the uh, Auto Tech high pressure fuel pump. And the guys at Regal. So massive yeah. thank you to Regal Autosport. They came through when we were like, oh, we need that, and they literally got it to yeah. you instantly. So huge thank you to those guys. Heat management, cooling wise, we've got probably the biggest one we could find, yeah. which is the Wagner cooler. So so this thing goes into the crash bar. So you would stage two would be that big. This one is twice as big height, and yeah. twice as deep. It's, like it's the whole of the grill. The size of the front so, of the car. Which we've had some advice saying these work, yeah. they're the only ones that will work properly. So the that. advice that we've we've been going with is multiple advices. Yeah, though, from you, yeah, from you other people. Research. Like the research has been done and people can say, oh that's the wrong part and this is the wrong and this is that, but this is how we're doing it. This is how it's going to be going down on this car and this is the environment that we're gonna have, you know, that wagon corner with that fuel pump, blah blah. That's the best scenario that we want. That's our this indeed, car. You know, that yeah, is that is the whole idea is development of this car, that's why it's taken so long, but taking so long, the car unfortunately the ECU let go issue. a couple of things. The ECU decided it doesn't want to play ball whatsoever. It was faulty, I would say. But faulty. I'm going to say it was faulty. Um, which to no one's knowledge. To no, no one's knowledge. Not mine. Those moving further yeah. forward with a tune. So unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, new ECU has been put in the car. Something to point out. That's why it took a little bit longer. Other than that, general servicing before we fit any turbo oil and filter. Um, yeah. So servicing wise, yeah, service you're up to scratch, ready for pushing. You know, if you're going to yeah. be pushing near 500 horsepower, you know that everything else is. And go and enjoy this because this is why this video exists is we're building this car to then go and just enjoy ourselves in and obliterate and just it just have a laugh in that's the whole idea of this car so so i'm at a stage now where fueling's near enough sorted trims wise mm -hmm. um, from data logs on the road oh. now we're at a point where we just need to be a little bit more precise so we're not a million miles away then it's wine some boost and then i would imagine the last revision will be flames yeah. Once we're happy with the power levels. So, so today, the main thing is just getting it settled and running as lovely as we can, and then we'll start adding. Flames. We'll start ranking. <laughs> we'll start ranking stuff up and see what happens. Yeah. What we're going to do next is, as the car is loaded up on the dyno, started warming up, all that good stuff. We've brought in this. It's going to show the data logging and everything, so Patrick can uh, make sure the car's doing what we're asking it to do. Yeah, just general stuff, fuel pressure. Awesome. And then we'll run it up and uh, see what's going on. So I'll warm it through now and then. Uh, we'll do a run. We'll start. We'll start seeing where she sat. Yeah, we'll get a baseline. Try and figure out where we're at now. Awesome. So, uh, Exciting. What are you reckoning? 
Oh, I oh, don't know. That, do you know? That is a good point. What do we reckon? So, what PSI or bar or whatever is it running right now? 1.2 bar. So, leave a comment below. What do you reckon it's running? I reckon it's running. You've driven it already, like this. Uh, I'm going to go 370. 370. Leave a comment below. I'm going to go 350. 350. Oh, oh, it is. Oh, okay. Right, so. Shout out to DK Tuning. This car is now incredibly loud. So, safety first and all that. An initial testing small pull to see what sort of power we're running curvature of graph how fuel's going all that good stuff and i will point out because someone's already left a comment i know it's coming again we are using the front wheels just the front wheels on the rs3 because we're taking the car on and off a lot today there's no point there's no point in taking just doing all of them because this is a hub dyno i've got enough to do without loading off yeah because this is a hub dyno, we've taken the Haldex off, so we've unplugged it, just to use front wheels today. So that is, does, it doesn't change how much brake horsepower that goes through the car, it doesn't do any of that. It's just for ease more than anything, because we're taking this on the road and putting it off, putting it on, it's just for ease. So we'll point that out, because I know someone's already left a comment. So, <laughs> I've just been told, the computer is saying, it's got a full tank of petrol in this, it says, at the moment, got 190 miles until it's got no petrol left. Nice. <laughs> Great MPG figures. Good effort. So as you can see behind me, we have taken the ECU out of the car and put it on a BDM frame. Now this is basically, to my understanding, because Pat's trying to like show me how it all goes down because I've never been a part of this and I'm sure a lot of people on this channel as well haven't really seen anything or been a part of any of this sort of style of mapping. The files have been created using a K tag. So the ECU has to be then taken out of the car, been put on a bench, BDM frame, and actually uh, that's how you're accessing the chip. I'm still learning as you guys are learning and that's sort of why I'm doing this video is learning how this all happens. So at this point in the video, we've uh, done a lot of testing on the dyno and sent it over to the mapper to make sure he's all happy with it basically. And then he's sending a file back so we can start upping the boost because that's the next part. We're gonna start upping the boost and yeah, see what we're running. Right guys, so we're gonna end this video on a bit of a sad note. Now, you saw last the uh, car do a dyno pull and the secondary dyno pull, so we've only done, what, three dyno pulls tonight. The car started spitting and leaning out at the end of the revs, so we've stopped uh, what's going on, basically, because the fuel pump, we're asking for 145 bar of fuel pressure and it's not actually giving it to us. It's going up and then it's dropping straight off. So, to my knowledge, obviously I'm learning as well as some people on this channel are, or a lot of people here may know what they're talking about, all that sort of stuff. Stuff, but I'm still trying to learn what's going on. So what we're gonna do is, we're actually gonna stop the uh, dyno tonight. We're gonna get a brand new fuel pump for the car tomorrow because obviously, although I put a high pressure fuel pump in the fuel pump and all that, it's not actually giving us what we're asking, which is a bit of a shame. It's going up and then it's dropping off at the end of the rev. So to my knowledge and to everyone else's here, I hope I'm pushing this over across um, properly to everyone, but the car isn't giving us enough fuel at the end of the day. So we're gonna replace the fuel pump tomorrow morning. We're gonna get one here as soon as we can, and we're gonna carry on with uh, another video. You guys will see that uh, in a couple of days. But thank you so much for watching. Again, cars, this is just how life is. So we were gonna go for a you know dyno run, trying to get the boost up tonight, but it's not gonna happen, unfortunately. So thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Cars are a nightmare, it's just how life is. But we will get another fuel pump in there tomorrow and start cranking the boost up, basically. So again, thank you so much to AT Motorsport. It's again a frustrating thing when cars uh, do one thing and then they do the other. It's just how life is. Again, if you've ever built a car, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's just how life is. But yeah, we will get there, guys. This car is putting up a massive fight, but we will get there. Leave a good comment below, like the video, subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you on the next one.